Peace and love, y'all. Peace and love. I'm back. I'm back. I've been deep in them trenches for a couple weeks, okay? I had to pull my way out them trenches. But I'm back with our Twin Flame Soulmate update for the week of June 26, 2022. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the readings are posted, okay? As always, thank you for watching my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, do a little bit of channeling. And then I'll clarify with some cards, okay? So we can see what the fuck is going on and what's up with the twin flame. Now, my dad's been like this for a couple of weeks, y'all. Because like I said, I've been in them trenches. But automatically, look what I'm seeing. I'm doing the twin flame reading. And look at the card. The back of that, that's two little rabbits. That's the twin flame. And then I got this little calendar. And it's two fishes. So this definite, this reading is definitely for you and your twin flame soulmate whatever you want to call them okay whatever you want to call the person that you are attached to okay or that you are um living out this experience with all right so y'all the first thing that spirit is showing me um about this union this week is basket okay basket um now when I see basket, y'all, ba baskets are usually known for collecting things or being able to store things or um, putting things in, okay? So, I don't know why I just heard, don't put all your eggs in one basket or you shouldn't have put all your eggs in one basket or something like that. But I feel like... Um, as far as this journey is concerned this week, I feel like you and your person are trying to collect information, okay? Or collect, you know, when you collect, you gather up something. And when a person is gathering up something, it, they're trying to gain a deeper understanding, okay? So it's like, I'm not going to go searching for knowledge and I'm not going to be gathering up knowledge about something that I don't care about, okay? I'm only doing that because it's like something I need to know, okay? So I feel like on one level, you and your partner, your twin flame, your soulmate, you guys are both still probably in separation. But I feel like you this week and the other person are kind of like trying to understand this whole twin flame journey. And I feel like Spirit is telling me that for a lot of you watching, you are... The reason you're confused is because you are gathering information from too, too many different sources, okay? That's always going to lead to confliction, okay? Because it's like, on one end, you listen to one source and it resonates, but then you don't trust, you don't have the faith of a mustard seed, okay? You don't trust the information that you just got, even though it makes you feel good, you have trust issues, okay? And your belief systems are not strong when it comes to this twin flame relationship. So then you go and you look at another source and you read something else about twin flame soulmates. And then it says the opposite of what you just was reading or looking at or watching, okay? So now you're confused. You're like, okay, I don't know if this is really meant to be. Are twin flames just a 5D thing where they they never come together in the 3D? Like there's all of these questions that are running through your mind, okay? And the mind of your partner. Like is this even real or is this like this new age spiritual stuff that never really comes into fruition, okay? So I feel as if spirit is saying you are keeping yourself trapped okay you are stating that you want a union with your person but your belief system's not adding up okay the math is just not mapping you're saying one thing out of your mouth out of your mouth you're feeling one thing in your heart but your thoughts your mind is saying something completely different or is believing something completely different okay 
So I feel like there is, you need to really ground yourself, okay? You need to really ground yourself when it comes to this connection. And you need to really rely on your own intuition as your highest source when it comes to this connection. Yes, guides are great, okay? But if you're going to have a guide, then you need to trust that guide as well. You can't be going all over the place trying to gather up information and then wonder why you are confused about your connection, okay? So I'm going to say that again. Spirit is telling me right now that your heart says you want this. Out of your mouth, you go back and forth about wanting this based on the information you get. But your thoughts are hindering you, okay? Those thoughts are keeping you down and keeping you stuck because you are still at that level where you're based in your life on things that you can see. And this spiritual connection, this soulmate connection defies all logic, okay? So if you are looking for a logical explanation or a logical answer as to the direction that this journey is taking you in, you will not find one, okay? Even if you find something to impress your subconscious mind for a while, eventually, okay, eventually that's going to change if you don't align your thoughts, words, actions, and deeds, okay? Now, for some of y'all, I feel like you're, you're basking in self-love, especially the divine feminine, okay? I'm seeing basking. I feel like divine feminine, if you're watching this, you're, you've reached this level of um, self-love that you've never experienced before, okay? So a lot of you could be celibate. A lot of you could be finding confidence that you've never had in yourself. I feel like a lot of you, when you met your twin flame, this person opened up your heart chakra because they... Everything that you didn't like about yourself, this person loved. Or they, at least they, that's what they told you. They was like, yeah, I loved it. And you're like, what? I hate this about myself. So it's like your twin flame, that's why you feel so drawn to this person as well. Because this person loved you in a way that no one else did. They loved the things about you that you couldn't even love about yourself at one time, okay? So I feel like now, Divine Feminine, I feel like you're definitely basking in this new energy, okay? This newfound love, okay? Beyonce, you won't break my soul, okay? You're not letting this soul tie. You're not letting this twin flame soulmate relationship. You're not letting the world, okay, break you anymore. Although you still feel this connection very heavy, and like I said, this week, you you research and you're doing all type of research about Twin Flame. You are way, you're vibrating way higher than what you were previously, okay? You're no longer feeling sorry for yourself, Divine Feminine. You are no longer being the victim, Divine Feminine. You are getting your confidence back, okay? You, like, you're basking in self-love right now. You've learned a lot of lessons over the past eight months to two years, okay, depending on where you are in the journey, and you finally understand what self-love means outside of going to get your hair done, going to get your nails done, and then trying to impress, like, post pictures on social media or whatever to impress your twin. You, you're past that stage, okay? Now you realize if... You're going to be in a relationship. This is literally what Spirit is saying that you're realizing this week. You don't even want your twin flame back until you have your confidence back. Because you now realize that if you, if this union comes together and you're not confident in yourself, you're going to be right back at the same spot. Because you're then going to enter this relationship depending on your soulmate or, or your twin flame to provide you with that same confidence, that same stability and security that was once there. So you're realizing this week, uh-uh, I, before I even move forward with anyone, okay, whether you want to be with your twin flame or anybody, but we all know how that go, you don't even want to entertain anything in life if you're not confident, okay? That's what I'm getting. It's like this level of, let me, hold up, what's, what's that TikTok? Well, they, they show like this before picture, 
And then they like, hold on, let me get my ass up. And then they show like the afterwards. That's you, divine feminine. You like, hold on, let me get my ass up. I've been stressed, motherfucking depressed for eight months to two years by this twin plane. Let me get my ass up and remember who the fuck I am, the power I fucking have, and all that. And oh shoot, let me huh, hopefully YouTube don't uh ban my video, y'all. I forgot. I can't be doing all that cursing. And I'm a cursor. But you are at that point where you like, hold on, let me get my ass up. Okay? Let me get up. They, they must have forgot. I forgot too. But they must have forgot. So Divine Feminine, you definitely like basking in some really good energy this week. Okay? Now, I'm also getting... You learned a valuable lesson about putting all your eggs in one basket because I feel like with this twin flame or soulmate connection, not only did you have a deep, do you have a deep bond with this person where you love them very much, but I feel like you guys even like invested in things together, could have been talking about starting businesses together, all that. And it's like, now that that person isn't around, you also haven't started any of the things that you said you were going to start because this is something that you were supposed to do together, okay? And I feel like you put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to a business endeavor. And I feel like now you're learning your lessons about that. You're learning that I can love a person with all my heart, but I still have to have my separate identity. I still have to have things for myself. I still have to fulfill my desires and my needs. I still have to do for myself, okay? Now, even in this word basket, I'm seeing ask, A-S-K. So, when you ask something, it's like you need to know something. So, again, you're trying, you and your divine counterpart are trying to figure out something. But I feel like whether, whether you're a divine masculine or feminine listening to this, your divine partner is going to come in with 21 questions, okay? They're coming in asking 21 questions. Or I feel like you could have a lot on your mind that you may also want to ask this person. I feel like a heart-to-heart a, a -heart sit down is coming, okay? Whether that's this week or in the month of July, I do feel like there is a heart-to-heart -heart coming where you're going to be able to sit down, whether this is face-to-face -face or by phone or by email or whatever. But I feel like you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your divine counterpart. And I feel like both of you are acting like these 21 questions. Like, well, why did you do this? And, you know, you didn't have to do it that way. And just all of these things, okay? I feel like you're actually going to be able to find some peace after this conversation, okay? That needs to be had. That's well overdue. I feel like there's a conversation that's well overdue. And I feel like there's potential this week, okay? Um, isn't that a 50 Cent song? 21 questions girl would you love me if i was down and out or something like that okay so yeah even when i see 50 cent i'm seeing 50 50 okay 50 50 so it's like you gotta meet me halfway divine counterpart okay i feel like both of the divine feminine and the divine masculine are both in this energy where it's like two stubborn people okay because I feel like the divine masculine is too afraid to reach out because you now see this person for who they truly are. This person definitely deals with some narcissistic tendencies. So narcissists don't like to be exposed. That's like their biggest um, fear is being exposed to the world because that's what a narcissist is. They want on the outside, they want things to look good, but they never want people to know who they really are. But they couldn't hide from you, okay? They couldn't hide from you. So I feel like the divine masculine is a bit afraid to even have this conversation because they can't lie anymore. They can't tell you anything anymore. That's just not going to work. It's just not going to add up. And I feel like for the divine feminine, you're at the point where you want to reach out, but it's like, I, what if this person rejects me again? Okay. And you don't, you don't have time to deal with that again. So I feel like both people are feeling, both the divine feminine and the divine masculine is feeling this pull or this urge to reach out, to talk, to have that heart to heart, to ask the questions, to get the answers, to find the peace, to bring the balance and all of that. But I feel like masculine is scared. 
feminine is scared just for two different reasons. Masculine is scared because they know what they've done and they know they can no longer pretend that they didn't do what they did. They know that you, you see them fully and you, you're like, yeah, if I reach out to this person and I don't get, you know, the, the response that I think I should get, then yeah, it's going to be a problem. What is that? Uh, two chains? Is that two chains? I'm going to start a riot. I'm going to start a riot. So yeah, I'm getting a riot. It's like, that's what you feel, divine feminine, okay? <laughs> because you're like, I don't have time, okay? So in riot, I'm seeing Rio, okay? I think there's a movie. I think I remember seeing a movie with a little blue bird or something, a movie called Rio. I think I remember seeing like an advertisement. I've never watched it, but I'm going to go with that, okay? So y'all on this twin flame journey need to watch Rio this week, okay? Rio. Or shit, somebody on here could be named Rio or Mario. But yeah, I was getting, even, look, 50-50, even when I said two chains. Two chains, two people chained together. Two hearts chains together, okay? So the math is mathing, okay, with this reading and this channeling. The math is definitely mathing. This is indeed your soulmate if you've still been questioning. But I feel like... Like I said, you're divine feminine. You like, yeah, I'm gonna have, I don't want to go back. I feel like this person brought out a side of you that you don't want to go back to, but you feel like if you reach out to this person and they're still with somebody else or they're not still not ready or they, you know, act from this narcissistic, egotistical personality, then you're going to, that's going to trigger you to react how you was reacting before. And I feel like that scares you. You don't want to do that anymore. Okay. Divine feminine. Um, yeah, but I definitely feel like y'all need to watch that movie Rio. If that's a movie, we're going to go ahead and just do a little, pull some cards and see, we're going to do the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Okay. Divine feminine, divine masculine spirit. Give us a divine message for this twin flame soulmate journey for the week of Jul no, June 26. All right. Show us the messages that we need to see. Show us the messages that we need to see for the week of June 26, 2022. YouTube collective when it comes to the twin flame soulmate journey. kids and I don't know what it sounded like somebody was like falling down the stairs. I'm sure they weren't because they there's no crying but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's an omen. Like I just heard this loud, this loud crash. Alright. What is the energy for the divine feminine when it comes to this connection? Spirit, give me a card for the energy. For the week of June 26th for the Divine Feminine when it comes to this connection. Show us what we need to see. One card, please. One card, please. What is the energy for the Divine Feminine when it comes to this connection? Week of June. Okay, okay. We'll just leave that that way. What is the energy for the Divine Masculine? Why is these cards off? I'm just going to leave it. What is the energy for the Divine Masculine when it comes to this connection? What is the energy for the Divine Masculine when it comes to this connection for the week of June 26th? Okay. And it fell. Hold on, y'all. All right. So Divine Masculine has discernment. Didn't I say they were trying to figure it out? Divine Feminine, you have letting go. I. Oh, my God. I, and this is the 43 card for a divine feminine, which is a seven. Divine masculine has the six discernment card. So that's the energy that I literally was picking up on divine feminine. You are basking in this good energy. It's like, 
I love you, but I don't care. Okay. If y'all heard this, um, that TikTok, it's like, you, you know, you love this person, but now you've let go of that obsessive energy. You, you had divine feminine. There was this real obsessive type energy. What is that movie? Um, with Idris Elba and Beyonce, is it called Obsessed? Go watch that too. Those are the two movies that I'm getting, okay? But I feel like you, you're you letting go of this obsessive energy that you have for this divine masculine and you're basking in the sun, okay? The sun is Leo, all about self. And that's you, divine feminine, okay? It's like you are no longer attaching yourself to the toxicities or the toxic energies that you were given to this connection, okay? I feel like you finally let go of a lot of the pain and the hurt that this person caused you or this experience caused you, okay? Even though you could be 43 years old, but even 43 is seven, which is the um, spiritual ascended. Divine feminine, you have ascended, okay? Spiritual ascension is the number seven and it's lucky number seven too. So I feel like July is gonna be very lucky for you, um, divine feminine, but you've ascended, okay? You've rose above. It's like, I'm letting go of the pain. I'm forgiving the past. Whatever happens, happens, okay? Divine Masculine has discernment, the number six card, okay? Healing. Sacrificing. The Divine fam uh, Masculine is in this energy of knowing that a sacrifice has to be made. And they're trying to use the gift of discernment to make the right choice this time, okay? But ultimately, your Divine Masculine knows... I have to make a sacrifice. I have to give up something if I if this is going to work. If we're going to come together in union, I have to give some things up. And that's what's happening right now with that discernment card, okay? Now, the two cards together, that's seven and six, which is 14, okay? Which is a five, which is freedom, transformation, Okay, so I feel like you guys together with these two cards, you guys have basically um, freed yourselves from the karmic debt. What do I mean by that? Okay, everyone has debt to pay or karma to fulfill. Okay, period. It doesn't matter. And I feel like you guys have put in the work where you've cleared out that karma. Okay, as a team, even though this was done individually, you both been doing the work where you have cleared out karma, and now it's making way for the union to come. The divine mass, the divine feminine, you're in this letting go energy and allowing and surrendering, and the divine masculine is in this energy of discernment. Okay. I haven't used this deck in a while. Let's see. I have not used this deck in a while. I don't even know if I've ever used this for the Twin Flame reading. Y'all, I don't deal with doctors, so my thumb is still healing. When you naturally heal, it takes a little time. Y'all remember I had broke my thumb like almost two months ago. And it's, well, it's very much better now. It's still, when I try to shuffle, I feel... A little bit, but yeah. All right, Spirit. Go ahead and clarify the uh, 43 letting go card for the Divine Feminine. Clarifying the 43 letting go card for the Divine Feminine. You won't break my soul. I'm looking for a new foundation. That's you, uh, divine feminist. Like you, you are not allowing things to dictate your life anymore. Shuffling for the divine feminine. One card, please. Shuffling for the divine feminine. One card, please. Okay. Okay. Use your time wisely. Divine feminine. That's the number 24 card and it says make every moment count. 
So I feel like you're letting go and you're putting your, instead of using your time divine feminine to worry and stop your divine masculine and his karmic and all of these other things that you've been doing that I can clearly see here, okay? We're, we won't go into that. I won't throw you under the bus. But instead of doing these toxic behaviors that you were doing, Divine Feminine, you are now, um, like, using your time where better, okay? You're, you're finding better things to do with your time, okay? You could be praying for your Divine Masculine instead of worrying, instead of stalking. You could just be, you know, at that point where you're surrendering, all right, Spirit, clarify the discernment card. And notice 24 is 6, and Divine Masculine just had the number 6, okay? So you've healed. I just said that you've healed. You're no longer exhibiting these toxic behaviors this week, Divine Feminine. Because, yes, you was keeping tabs on your person. Clarify the discernment card for the Divine Masculine. One card, please. What is the energy for the divine divine masculine? Clarify the number six discernment card. Clarify the number six discernment card. One card, please, for the Divine Masculine. Look like something wanted to fall out. You won't break my soul. Spirit, what do we need to see about the divine masculine in this discernment? All right. The number 34 card, impossible things. It says, working through disbelief, imaginative, um, imagine. Imagining leaps in fresh perspective. Now, that's not confirmation, y'all. I told y'all. This person is working through the fact that they did not believe in this connection. They didn't know what a twin plane was, okay? And I feel like this is actually both of you this week. That's what I said in the beginning. But if you want to clarify discernment for the divine masculine, this is just the confirmation, okay? This person is really trying to gain a new perspective or they, they are gaining a new perspective this week, okay? Because they didn't believe in this, okay? It was just something that... They were like, yeah, what? I feel like this person, even when I look over here and I see the word witch on this deck, okay? I feel like this person thought you was doing something to them. Your divine masculine, they thought they was having these feelings because you was doing something to them. They didn't realize that, oh, wow, this really is something real, okay? So, your divine masculine is um, definitely gaining a new perspective this week. All right, y'all? We're going to pull from the little carrot card did all right spirit clarify for the divine feminine's energy clarify the letting go and using your time well cards i am hot and i'm usually cold i'm hot all right, Spirit, clarify for the Divine Masculine, the number six, discernment, and number 34, impossible. Y'all really mirroring each other, just like I said, okay? Remember, you had Divine Feminine, 43. They have 34. <laughs> they had six. You have six, 24. You guys really are mirroring each other. If you are wondering if, if this person is thinking about you just because they're not in contact, honey, there is no need to wonder. You guys are mirroring each other. The cards are even confirming it. Spirit, clarify the six. This, okay. Damn. All right. So 
Divine feminine, you got hawk in the sky. No, you got hawk. I don't know what the hell. Oh, hawk legs. Okay, hawk legs. I was about to say, I don't know what the hell they say. It's the hawk legs card, okay? Uh, I'm getting that Aaliyah song. Oh, boy. I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky. If I were you were my prey. Yeah, I don't even know what that song called because it's that old. But I feel like they are watching you, okay? And just like I said, you was watching them too, okay? Gathering information. That's what a hawk does. Scoops on down and scoops up its prey, all right? They coming to get you, Divine Feminine. And you, you coming to get them. So this is the 21 card, okay? Um, 2021 could have been very rough for you, Divine Feminine. Very rough, rough when it comes to this journey. But this is a three card. And I feel like communication is coming in from this person. Because they've already been watching, okay? And the fact that this is the hop legs. It's like the hops use their legs to grab their prey, okay? So I feel like you've both been watching and stalking each other. And you're both like coming after each other. Even though it's happening very slow and in a stubborn way. Now, the Divine Masculine has the number 10 card, which is um, the Dandelion card, okay? So, this first, I feel like your Div Divine Masculine could be born on the 1st of the month, the 10th of the month, and that's it, okay? Um, or they could be born in January, or they could be born in October, okay? Or this person could be an Aries. Because 10 is 1, okay? But I feel like dandelion is used for blood, okay? Blood, it issues with the blood. If you have low iron, dandelion is good to take, okay? So I feel like your divine masculine is realizing that this is a deeper connection than they thought, okay? Remember, they're over here using discernment. And they're working through disbelief, okay? So I feel like they're realizing that you guys are bound by blood, spiritual blood, okay? You're a family, you're a spiritual family. But I also get this person might not be doing well. They could be having an issue that affects their blood, okay? We're going to clarify that. So that could be something as simple as anemia or anything else, okay? Dandelion is also good for the skin. So I feel like your divine masculine is definitely um, dealing with some type of health issue in regards to blood. Like a, um, it could be a blood vessel. It could be um, them being anemic. It could be a blood disorder that causes something with the skin I'm getting. I don't know, okay? Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull one more card for the Divine Feminine and then one for the Divine Masculine. And then I'll just do three tarot cards for you guys together and pull some clarifiers. Okay. So I was going to pull this because that fell out. But then this flew over here. So Divine Feminine, we're going to take that. Okay. This is the Gemini card. It says information to explain. Didn't I just tell y'all when I saw X that this motherfucker was going to have 21 questions and that y'all was going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where... You're able to explain yourself. They're able to explain themselves. I just said with this three card that communication is coming in. And y'all saw how this card fell over there. That wasn't even supposed to be the one. I was going to go with this. But this card flipped over and fell over there. And it's the Gemini card, okay? It says information to explain. Communication. It says what you want to be known, all right? In the, in the quickest way. So, uh, yeah, hawks are pretty fast, too. They're not taking their time scooping up their prey, okay? So I feel like there's definitely communication between you and your person this week. Well, it is, I feel like you're going to be having dreams. For some of y'all, if you don't see this person or if this person don't reach out to you, I feel like you're going to be meeting up with this person in the astral realm. Because look, look at, the two, look at the two. Both of the two faces have two faces. This is some out of, out of this world stuff. You see that? The masculine and the feminine have these two faces attached and they're both mirroring each other. So I feel as if you guys are definitely going to be meeting up in the astral realm. But I feel as, you know, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is travel. I feel like someone could be traveling to see you or they could be sending a letter through the mail as well. Now, these two cards were stuck together. We're not going to take that. 
Because I how I'm supposed to know which one. All right, Spirit, give us one more card for the Divine Masculine. All right. Give us one more card for the Divine Masculine. Okay. The fifth house. The power. Look what they say. The power of love. Y'all go listen to that Beyonce song, Break My Soul. She says, I'll forever justify love. And that resonated, resonated with me, okay? I like when it's real love, yeah, I can justify that. Now that fake stuff, I can't be dealing with that. But Look at there, the power of love. Divine feminine the whole time you've been thinking this person don't even care about you and look, okay? Y'all could be a Leo and a Gemini or the divine masculine could be in love with the Leo because that's the fifth card. You guys could have children together because that's the fifth house. But it says investments and gambles in other games. It says your creation, okay? So I feel like the divine masculine... It's realizing, like I said, after this discernment, they're realizing that they have to make a sacrifice. Look what this card says. It says, with the trust of a child, fun, romance, and making art, do it dramatically. So there's going to be a dramatic change in perception when it comes to the divine masculine, okay? This person realized that you're the one they want to be with. You're the one that they want to raise their family with, whether you guys already have a family together or not. Look at that. It's fifth house energy, okay? Um... The fifth house, like I said, is Leo. So I feel like the divine masculine is having to be strong, courageous. They're having to protect you. Okay. They know that they have to protect you. They know they can't just be out there like they had been out there before. All right. We're going to pull. I'm going to pull three tarot cards and see what spirit has for you guys together for your union. And then, um,. We're going to clarify. All right, spirit. What is the energy of these twin flames? Soulmates, okay? What is the collective energy between the two? Give us three cards, please. What is the collective energy between the divine masculine and the divine feminine that they need to know this week, June 26, 2022? Show us the messages that we need to see. Okay. Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy. Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries Energy. And the, a child, just like I said, y'all probably already have kids together or that's what's about to happen. All right. And wow, the Three of Wands. Okay, you guys. So the collective energy between the two of you is walking away walking away from whatever does not serve this connection okay that's what the ten of swords is you guys and remind mind you divine masculine got the 10 october is going to be significant for this connection okay but it, we're, we're asking for the collective energy and both of you guys are walking away from things that have kept you out of this connection you guys are walking away from people, places, emotions, toxic behaviors. Again, divine feminine. Okay? You guys are both doing this, okay? And it's not going to be easy. Look at all those, those war wounds. This person has been stabbed 10 times before they finally realize, okay, yeah, I need to go back. I need to walk away and go where I'm meant to be. Because I feel like you were both in this energy where wherever you were doing was just keeping you bruised and broken and hurt, okay? And I feel as if the collective energy is now, both of you are walking away from those things that broke this connection or those things that tried to break this connection and tried to interfere with this connection, okay? I feel like this could you could be a, a, a fire sign or you could be dealing with a fire sign, but I feel like... You're walking away from childish behaviors, okay? Both of you, both of you. We're not going to put this on the divine masculine. Yes, they did whatever they did, but the way you at reacted, divine feminine, 
you could have handled yourself a lot better, okay? You could have been mature. You, this is not a queen of wands. This is a page of wands. This is a this is an immature little girl. That person triggered those wounds from back when you were 10 years old, okay? Those abandonment issues, those rejection issues. So you were at, out here acting like a 10-year-old when you could have handled yourself better. And the divine masculine as well was over here just acting real childish. Both of you were acting real childish about this connection, okay? But I do feel as if news is coming in with this page of wands. This is passionate news, okay? But for, because it's a page, okay, this is the beginning stages of things beginning to move because that is exactly what the three of wands is, movement, travel, where things were stagnant because you guys were both over here being whooped by life, okay, for the choices that you made. You finally decide to let go of the immaturity and the childish behavior. Now there's a message coming in. And the three of wands is travel and movement. So where things were stagnant, they're now moving, okay? But the, the movement is, it's page energy, okay? So it's fresh. You know, typically when things are fresh, they take a little time before they become stable, okay? So don't expect this person to run in and say, this week and say, hey, let's get married. Okay, that's not what's going to happen. But you guys are both realizing that you're, you're, this connection is moving along. Okay, we're going to clarify and go ahead and end this reading. Queen of Hearts, as soon as I open the deck. Let's see. Jesus. I hate when the cards. All right. Issues with mother. Okay. So somehow one of your mother, either the divine feminine or divine masculine. And I'm, I'm starting over here with feminine. So I feel like the divine masculine's mother, but feel free to switch the roles. The divine masculine mother had an issue with you, divine feminine. Now, I don't know why. Probably because of your belief systems or whatever. But you definitely had issues with your mother-in-law because it's right there, okay? And this person also has issues with their mother. And then you had childhood issues with your mother with this page of one. And this person triggered that. All right, the divine masculine could be born on November 10th or someone's born on November 10th. I sight, you can see things clearly now, divine feminine. Oh, look at there, conflicted. Divine masculine is using that discernment because like I said in the beginning, you're trying to gather information to see if this is even really real. Divine feminine, I feel like you could either be dealing with the digestive issues or healing digestive issues, okay? Divine masculine has that 43 card again, and the mirror of that is 34. So divine masculine, if you're listening, your person could be 43 years old or 34 years old. chiropractor okay divine feminine you could be going to the chiropractor or, or you could be having issues with your back or back pain okay and that could be that kundalini awakening okay i feel like your divine masculine could have started you on that journey of a kundalini awakening okay andy this is andy from toy story okay so divine masculine is on this if you watch toy story you know that uh Andy's favorite was Woody, okay? But then Buzz came along and he kind of started liking Buzz. And then he got so old that he didn't have any of his toys. So it was like, what I'm getting from Andy is the tough choices that had to be made 
in the movie, the Toy Story movies, because everyone had this attachment. Andy had an attachment to his toys. The toys had an attachment to each other. They had an attachment to Andy, but it got to a point where everybody knew it was like, hey, we have to do what's best. We can't just stay attached, okay? Someone could be a life path five, divine feminine. Your person could be a life path five, or this is you. Governor, okay? Divine masculine has governor. I feel like when I see governor for divine masculine, I feel like this is the divine masculine trying to govern themselves, okay? They're trying to get away from how they let other people influence this connection, okay? We're gonna do two more. Gumbo. He could be eating gumbo, divine. He up balling, okay? So I feel like this person could be balling out crying, okay? Uber, they're on the way. <laughs> Uber delivers stuff, okay? and exercise so i feel like divine masculine is exercising their right to freedom and their right to choose where before they could have felt stuck somewhere they're not doing that anymore okay that's what i got for y'all this week peace